Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. It's the morning after physical therapy. I'm not in that great of a mood. I, I didn't sleep well. I had a lot of pain. But I did wake up hungry. <laughs> so I'm wanting French toast. So I'm going to whip up some French toast here and, and cook it. And I'm just going to start with two eggs. Milk and sugar, that's about it, right? So yesterday, after the physical therapy, I did have a good bit of pain. I took Tylenol after I got home and applied ice to my shoulder off and on for the, the rest of the evening until bedtime, and that finally eased up the pain, but I did have a little bit of trouble sleeping. My eyes are sunk back into my eye sockets and the circles under my eyes are blacker and darker than usual. So that tells me I need to rest my body more. So I, I'm just going to stay in bed today. So there are my two eggs. And some milk, I gotta get the sugar. Just gonna put one teaspoonful of sugar because I'm gonna be putting powdered sugar on top of the French toast. If I get it cooked, let me find my powdered sugar. There it is. And no, y'all, it's not confectionery sugar. Can't send it when people call it confectionery sugar. Confectioner sugar, but not confectionery. Okay. When I was growing up, I didn't go to too many sleepovers. Back, back then, they weren't called sleepovers, they were called slumber parties. Do any of y'all's kids or grandkids call them slumber parties anymore or are they always call sleepovers? Um, I've only heard people refer to them as sleepovers. I've got three pieces here. I might be overdoing it, but the bread is kind of small. That's my excuse anyway for wanting to cook three pieces. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get the bread in here, soaking up the eggs and milk. My butter heated up. So, like I said, I'm just going to, I still got my gown on. I'm going to eat and go back to bed, take my medicine, put the ice up on my shoulder and go back to bed. And then this afternoon, I will put the heating pad on it and do my physical therapy exercises. I don't know why I got the idea to have French toast <laughs> this morning. Doesn't hurt to have something sweet and delicious and different for sometimes, does it? Okay, let a little bit of this egg drip off of here. Here we go, there's the first piece. I'll show y'all one reason I'm staying in bed today. It's because I just, I don't think I can take another day in this recliner. It was a good recliner when it was, when I first got it, when it was new, but that was three years ago. And, you know, we're talking about 210 pounds in a recliner for a few hours every day for three years. It, it has taken its toll on that poor recliner. I just don't think I can t sit in it much longer. So I'm going to talk to Jill about it and see if we can come up with some type of um, borrow money from her or borrow her credit card. You know, I hate to do that because 
What if I put it on her credit card and then I can't make videos or my views go down and I lose my YouTube income? I wouldn't be able to pay her back. So that's why I hesitate. You know, she's more than willing to let me put it on her credit card, but I don't want her paying for it. She's got two kids to feed and clothe and all the activities that they're in and all the extra money that it costs. She, I don't want her buying her, her mother a chair. I don't know. It sucks being poor. That's why I tell all of y'all, even if you're in your 60s and you're still working, make sure you put as much money as you possibly can out of every paycheck into a 401k or buy a CD, buy a CD or something. You do not want to end up like me and many others. I'm putting one piece back. Three is just going to be too many. Not able to buy food or pay your doctor co-pays. It just, um, it's not a pleasant way to have to live. Okay, I think this is done. Anyway, whenever I was growing up, we would have sleepovers. And every time I would go to one, which wasn't very often, I probably went to three, three or four during my teenage years. Uh, the mother would always get up and make us French toast. <laughs> that had to be quite a job for her because there would be like five or six girls, you know, sleeping over. But I do remember that. It seemed like the French toast was such a special treat. Oh, I better take this butter out. It's really burnt. Okay. Piece of bread's gonna fall apart, I'm afraid. But it's okay. <laughs> it's it your day. <laughs> it's okay. It's still gonna be good. Get a little powdered sugar in it. Well, a lot of powdered sugar. There's no such thing as a little, a little bit of anything in my kitchen. Go big or go home, right? Yep, that piece of French toast mended itself, didn't it? I would like to crochet some today, but I'm afraid to use all of these little tendons in my arm. I got quite a workout yesterday by using that silly putty in physical therapy and that surprised me. My therapist said, here, put this glove on. And I did. <laughs> and it was so that I could hold that silly putty in my hand. So during one of the, the pressure points that he was doing, I was laying on the exam table and I with my left hand, I grabbed onto the side of the table. I was clenching it because of the pain. And my therapist told me to let go, let go of my hand. He told me to let go of the table. He didn't even let me grasp, you know, onto the, the edge of the table. I don't know how that would have interfered with the therapy. I don't know, but I do what he says because I, I trust him. I got into trouble with him when I first got there because I didn't go last week and I said, well, I couldn't get an appointment with you. And he said, well, you, you could have made an appointment with another therapist. And I said, well, to be honest with you, I don't trust anybody else and I don't. So I'm going to try my best to make sure that I get the rest of my appointments with my therapist before he fills up. I have one on Friday and then I have two for the following week, so I think I'm good. Okay, this looks good enough to me. Okay, let me try seven, I'll let y'all know. That taste. Mm. It 
is so good, y'all. So this is my chair. Half of it, the whole right side of it is practically on the floor. But it's the only chair I have, and I'm thankful for what I do have, but I would love to have a nice recliner. Should I take Jill up on her offer and charge one? She has a credit card from a credit account, a charge account at Raymore and Flanagan. Anyway, y'all let me know what you think. She has offered to let me use her credit card. So please give me a thumbs up and share, and y'all just keep on coming back. I hope you have a wonderful day.